Hey everybody, how you doing? Reaver coming at you. So, we're in territory wars right now, and it's recently been brought up about uh, fleets and what possibly my guild can do to beat these fleets. Now, I've always ran a mirror match. I run the Kenobi, and it was asked if I could, if it would be able to be beaten like one of these big ones that's up at 529 power. Now, as you see, I'm 487, I'm real close, but I've been running this exact same strategy ever since I started. Now, Relic 7, no relics, Relic 5, Relic 7, Gear 11, Relic 7, Gear 12, Gear 11. There's where my ships are. So I have a little bit of a hodgepodge. Obviously, you know, you want Annie and Negotiator up there. I would like to Relic Hound's Tooth, but there's so many other things to do. And what you do is you always target Annie, use your basic. Okay? Same with fives. You always target any and use your base. Now you got target lock on him, which is awesome. He's going to go and put those two buffs blocks on your hound's tooth. You hit him with a basic. It clears off. They do their area attack. They go after any. That's fine. You do yours right back. Okay, now we have target lock right across the entire board. Now you use five second. And with any luck, see now Annie's invisible as well. They're bringing in their tank. Always they bring in Sarge. Always. So this is stage two of the battle. If you have better RNG, you can sometimes get rid of that, Amy. So now we bring in Plo Koon. Always Plo Koon right here. Now you have two options. Because I have no one tanking, I'm going to make five tank. The other option is to speed up the entire team in a second. But as I said, I'm going to make five tank. So he's going to take there, sit there and take it. Now, I'm going to stay on Houndstooth because I want to stick these two buffs from any second. This is the first time I've used it, and I actually stuck it, which means I can get rid of this Houndstooth. So I'm going to ignore this ship for now. Okay, now they always do that. They put the circle back on them. I don't know the actual name of it. I'm going to do the same thing, obviously, so they're ahead of me. I'm still not worried about this match. Okay, now we can get rid of Houndstooth. Now, if you notice, I just give Annie full turn meter. He had just taken a turn. Now, if you can kill another ship, you're going to give Annie full turn meter again, and he's going to lose that buff. So let's see if we can actually do that. Uh, not with my fives looking as sad as he does, unfortunately. Okay, and they bring that one in. He's going to make fives taunt. That's fine. We're going to continue to work on Sarge. Now, we're going to go over to Fives, and we're going to bring Ahsoka in. Okay, that's going to remove the taunt from Fives. Now you go on here. With any luck, I'm going to hit her hard enough that he's going to get rid of that buff right. There he goes. There's his turn. Buff's gone. Okay. Now, he doesn't have shields. Now you can work on Annie. Bye, Annie. And this match just fell apart. You always get rid of this ship first. Ignore those other two. Okay, I'm going to lose a couple ships here. Yep. Always get rid of this one first. Fortunately, my Annie's going to live. I'm in really great shape for this battle. Time for me to throw mine out there. And that is the exact strategy for a mirror match. You use the basics where I had mentioned use all your seconds on who I had mentioned, where and when I had mentioned. And I mean, that is a strategy over and over and over. If you follow this, you really should not have very many problems. And yes, I can beat this team too. It's a little trick trickier. They get more valor. So obviously this ship is a lot faster. But again, it's the same strategy. You work on any because when that target lock that fives throws is going to get rid of these other two ships when you use a second. So that's kind of why you want your fives built as well. So, everybody, there is your mirror match for fleets. Thank you very much for watching, and this is Reaver saying have a great day and keep gaming, everybody.